I'm Tiffany Smith. And I'm Jason Inman. Get ready for DC All Access. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, Jason, we've got to tease the episode first. We've got an exclusive first clip of Batman vs. Robin. Oh, you're right. We do have an exclusive first clip of Batman vs. Robin. Now, get ready for DC All Access. Detective Comics gets in on the endgame tomorrow as Scott Snyder's story arc bleeds through the Bat family of books this month. Batman gets some unexpected help from some scrappy teenagers as he tries to save a Gotham full of Jokerized citizens. The latest issue of Coffin Hill plunges headfirst into a chilling case of child murder, and Eve gets some help from beyond the grave. To catch up on this Twisted Vertigo series, start with Coffin Hill Volume 1, Forest of the Night. Warner Brothers just announced a brand new mobile game called Batman Arkham Underworld. You can sign up for the beta version right now at ArkhamUnderworld.com. The upcoming animated movie Batman vs. Robin is the sequel to last year's Son of Batman and adapts Scott Snyder's epic Court of Owls story arc. The battle between Batman and the Boy Wonder hits Blu-ray next month, but we've got director Jay Oliva here to give us an exclusive sneak peek. So Batman vs. Robin is really a father-son story. It carries the events directly from Son of Batman that we set up and pushes it forward. And as with all things with young boys and their fathers, they kind of butt heads. Bruce Wayne, Batman, has this idea in his head that I have to make sure that Damien doesn't become this ultimate killer that his mother wanted him to be. Unfortunately, Damien being this headstrong kid and being Bruce Wayne's child, he's like, I'll be fine, just He's leave like, me alone. I don't need a babysitter. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's where he meets uh, Talon, and Talon's from the Court of Owls, which is the first time we see him in the animated universe, which is very exciting. DC releases digital first every day of the week. You every don't have to just day. wait until Wednesday to get your comics anymore. So give me a rundown of what comes out every day. Uh, we start off on Sundays with Mortal Kombat X. The great thing about that is it leads into the game release that comes out uh, this April. So if you read our digital first, you'll be caught up and you'll know what's going on in the new game. On uh, Mondays, we alternate with uh, Arrow Season 2.5 and Flash Season 0. Uh, Tuesdays, Injustice. Uh, we're now in Year 3. We're about ready to start up on Year 4, and this will lead into uh, the game itself. Wednesdays, Batman 66. Mm -hmm. It's a great all-ages series that uh, anyone and everyone seems to love. Wednesdays also brings us Fables, A Wolf Among Us, and that's based on the Telltale video game. Uh, it's a little different than the game itself, so if you play the okay. game and you think you know the story, you don't know everything. So we've got a couple twists and turns in that story. It's definitely worth nice. picking up. We also have Teen Titans Go, and that comes out uh, once a month in space on the Cartoon Network series. On Thursday, we have Sensation Comics featuring Wonder Woman. We pretty much take all the best parts of Wonder Woman and throughout her mythos, and we explore and um, go deeper into each of these stories. Fridays brings us Batman Arkham Knight, and that story actually takes place between um, the last Arkham City game and the upcoming Arkham Knight game. Mm -hmm. Saturday is kind of fun because it's um, Bat Manga. Uh -huh. And this is a series that was released in Japan in the 60s, and we've uh, uncovered all those files and we've adapted it for the United States. Last week, we asked you guys to submit videos of your comic book pull list, and you guys love comic books so much that the submissions could fill up an entire library. Here's some of our favorites What DC books do I get and why? I'll show you. Getting Justice, three years in the running. I read Batman No Man's Land. Uh, multiversity, been picking up every issue. Graham Morrison's had his prime in this. Multiversity, Secret Six, Batman, World's End. Gotham by Midnight, the supernatural side. Uh, this goes well if you've been watching the show Constantine. Love it. And my personal favorite, Grayson. I'm a comic book fan and I always will be. 
This week we're challenging you guys to name as many playable LEGO Batman 3 characters as you can in 10 seconds. Use the hashtag DCAA giveaway for your chance to win this signed Court of Owls mask. It's signed by Scott Snyder himself. So cool. And if you guys want to see our attempts, we totally get tongue-tied. Head over to our Tumblr and next Tuesday we'll show some of your videos. And that's it. Be sure to sign up for the DC Entertainment newsletter if you want some discounts on some sweet DC swag. Yep, make sure you click subscribe so you don't miss any of the latest DC news. Do it.